Did you know that by not buying an Outdoor Vital sleeping bag, your girlfriend will leave you? All right, guys, so oftentimes when you work in retail, if you've never worked in a retail setting, you get to deal with some pretty crazy people. This person wasn't crazy. I actually felt pretty bad for him and we ended up refunding them some money just because we felt bad for them. My customer service brought this over to me and it's a email and I'm just gonna read this to you. So it says, thank you for the note. I promised to take my girlfriend camping this weekend. I borrowed my friend's sleeping bag. The sleeping bag that he ordered, um, it didn't quite get to him in time, but he says, I borrowed my friend's sleeping bag. My girlfriend froze her butt off. She was so upset that we ended up breaking up. Goodbye. Babe, wait. Babe, no! Babe, no! Babe! Shame on me for cutting it too close and the product not getting delivered. How about that? Did you know that by not buying an Outdoor Vital sleeping bag, your girlfriend will leave you? I didn't know that. <laughs> no, seriously though, that is, I feel bad for you buddy. Um, hopefully that all worked out for you, but I may have a section of the vlog that's just about funny emails we get. Um, sometimes I have to do things that I don't particularly enjoy. You know, that's just life. Sometimes you get down at the end of the day. So it's the end of the day today and I needed a pick me up. So what I did is I dove into some of the most recent customers who have been expressing their gratitude towards what we do. And I just wanted to share some of these with you. I actually decided just this last week that I am going to start decorating a wall just with all of the customers that write in, customers that write in, send a picture and, and just explain why they love of our company and, and if, how we've helped them. Because that's the biggest thing is I wanna see that, that we're making a difference and we're accomplishing our mission. First one I'm gonna share is from Hikerhost. He was on Instagram and, and made this post and he says, oh, here's Hikerhost. Stand up guy. I've been talking you guys up forever and here's a perfect example why. Another happy through hiker with an Outdoor Vitals down sleeping bag. So through hiker, if you guys don't know, um, they're hiking the typically the AT trail and they're they're trying to hike the entire trail, which is a tremendous feat and is and is something I hope to be able to do someday. And I run a business now, so it, it ties me down a little bit more, but I'm gonna get there and I'm gonna hike it. Okay, here's another one. Before I share the picture, I'm gonna read this one because it's a little bit funny. My humans love their sleeping bags from you guys. I also snuggled with my mama in hers and it was cozy. Delilah the dog. <laughs> Some people are pretty creative. All right, this one's from Matthew Mag, and he says, I've bought a lot of high-end outdoor adventure gear in my time, and I bought a lot more in preparation for the EBC. All of it performed amazingly, but especially the Summit Zero Degree bag from you guys. The temps got down to negative 20 some nights, and I didn't even have to zip the bag up. Okay, first off, this guy is tough because I would be zipping my own bag up, <laughs> just saying. But he says, negative 20 some nights, I didn't even have to zip the bag up. It was tremendously warm and durable. A friend brought a, bought a brand new bag for the trek and the seams were coming apart after a week. Anyone who is into trekking should get one of these bags. They're super warm, light, packed down and possibly small and have my absolute highest praise. Matthew Mag. This is the picture that he posted that on. That's our, our Summit Zero bag, but I'm sure you guys know that. <clears throat> All right, last one. This one I, I really liked. Um, you can just tell they're, they're out there enjoying the woods and that's what this is about. So she says, hello, Tayson. Thanks for the condensation tips. So stop there. Condensation tips was an email that I sent out. Um, if you're not on our email list, I send out an email. I try to about once a week and it's strictly about things that help. <laughs> so this last one was titled condensation kills. And I talked about how to control condensation inside of a tent and, and things you can do. And um, anyways, I go through different tips and I try to be super helpful. If you get on our email, list. Don't worry about getting spam. I'm not about that. And if you feel like you are, unsubscribe, but I think you'll like it. So anyways, thanks for the condensation tips. I will try to remember those in the future. Last week, my sister and I decided to try out our new Outdoor Vitals bags in some chilly Tennessee mountain weather. It was a spur of the moment kind of thing. Most things are with us, but we are warm and I love our bags. I attached some pictures. Thanks. Jenison Nafi. And you can see her and her sister in the Outdoor Vitals bags. Um, and if you look really close, you can see that there's frost on that bag. Bag. And so she definitely had some condensation, but I just wanted to film this and let you know that I r love reading what you guys write in. It really fuels um, what I do, why I do it. Running this company is definitely a lot more than just running a business. Um, running this company really is about helping people um, such as Jenison here. 
who's not going to be able to afford a an extremely expensive high quality bag when i was her age well i don't know her age when i was young i did boy scouts and i froze my butt off somehow i made it through still loving the outdoors but had i had the right gear um, at that age of my life i could have enjoyed the outdoors so much more and i'm sure i know that there was a handful of boy scouts that were also sleeping in in bags and things that they, they froze their butt off to and guess what they learned to hate the outdoors and i think everyone deserves that chance to enjoy the outdoors so that's what drives me and i i urge you guys you know send in some more stuff like this because it's super exciting to me and i think it's it's really motivating I appreciate, I appreciate these comments, guys. All right, guys, we are currently picking the winner of the Funniest Comment Contest on our first vlog. So it's basically come down to 10 people that we can, we can tell that we're at least trying to be funny. Thank you for trying. Number one is Rich Schwartz. Riley sounded embarrassed about rubbing on his brother-in-law. Was that because he secretly enjoyed it, LOL? No. No, Rich, I didn't enjoy it. It was very awkward. The second entry, Caravaggio 16. A free hat. Oh boy. So it was sarcasm. Oh, but I sense the sarcasm. Do you sense the sarcasm? I sense it. Jlen82. Caressing your sister-in-law's arm is not awkward at all. Mine are smoking hot. Jlen, that's a bit creepy. That's a bit weird. You're into that. <laughs> You're into that. Cool. <laughs> Joseph Russell says, Mmm, some thumb action. Oh yeah, it looks like the warehouse man is all thumbs. I guess I was asking for that when I told the story, but it's getting old guys. Steve Higginbotham? The name is funny. I don't know if that's your real name. I'm sorry if it is. Higginbotham? So Steve says, it could have been more awkward if it was Riley's sister-in-law on the couch. It could have been, you're not wrong. Ernest Wessels? I think I'm saying that right. The warehouse always goes to sit when the shipping guy is off chasing tail. Pete Schroeder, Riley, hard at work, fingering his father-in-law. What? <laughs> Come on, Heath. Come on, you're trying too hard. Thank you for trying. So we, after much discussion, we decided that none of the comments were like funny enough to be like a clear winner. Instead, here are the two hats. Uh, we're gonna draw names. So first, this is gonna be for the dark gray hat, the winner. Ernest Wessels. Ernest Wessels. We will message you on YouTube. Higginbotham. 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 <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> the name paid off. You knew it was gonna pay off someday. So congrats to uh, Ernest Wessels and Steve. Sorry, Steve Higginbotham. Uh, congrats. We will get you your hat right away.